What's up, y'all? Mitchell Pelkey back with another video. You guys absolutely crushed the 2021 Reacts video, so I'm in it again. I'll be reacting to the top 2022 lacrosse commits in the nation. Highly, highly looked at as being one of the best classes to ever enter college. So let's get into it. The top 2022s. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, look at this shirt. A possum in some sort of drippy hip hop fit. I'm fired up. It's Tuesday in Columbus. The sun is out. Let's get into it. The number one recruit in the 2022 class is Joey Spolina. Tackman out of Mount Sinai, New York, committed to Syracuse. I've seen this guy play many times in person. A great player, deserves his number one spot, and a nice guy. He's been in the spotlight since sixth grade. Funny story, actually, I was playing for FCA the summer going into my ninth grade year, and I was at the inside lacrosse tournament at Goucher College, I'll never forget it. And we were playing this 91 crushed, we're 2019s, they're 2020, so we're like, why are, why are they playing up? They were just so sick, they played up at every tournament. There was a rumor that there was a stud, a rising sixth grader playing with rising eighth graders on that team, and that was Joey Spillane. And he's been in the spotlight ever since. The start of this highlight tape is sick. I mean, throwing it back to the MLL days, eight years old, All Star Weekend. With the behind the back, first ever ninth grader to be Suffolk County Attackman of the Year. Like freshman year, he put up 131 points. Like, this doesn't happen every year. This is like a generational type talent. Just like I talked about how Chris Cavanaugh's Sally game was big, Joey's is sick. A little smirk at the camera. He's definitely one of the best attackmen on the come up, you know, to work that island. He gets to that five and five, eight and eight. Hits a little rocker, hits a little jump shot, hits a little coming over his defender. He gets that island and just does work. Ooh, the inside roll. A little body too with the right back. His dad coaches the Stony Brook women's lacrosse team and coached that whole Team 91 crush team with O'Neal, McAdory, Spelina. Like that team could go down as the best at playing up all those years. Like people don't really know how much that helps. But you know, being in the spotlight and, and playing with better kids growing up, you know, you're, you're obviously going to dominate your age. So that was Joey. Let's move on to number two. Dominic Petromala, attackman from Boys Latin, Maryland, committed to UNC. Petromala from Boys Latin. Oh my god, that first shot. Come on. With the bass drop, and I think it was Quint's voice in the background. We're playing that left position. His shot is silky. Drops those hands, puts a low to high, and it's second. One thing that not a lot of people are gonna notice watching this tape is the way he covers his sticks when he dodges going through defenders is great. You know, the way he kind of hangs it, it brings it back when defenders are on his back. Defenders move their stick and bring it back up to shoot. Like that's something a, a normal guy like watching this won't realize, but like he does it so well. You guys know his dad, Dave Petromala, who played at Hopkins College and was a legendary coach there. With a dad like that and probably being able to practice with the Hopkins guys growing up, like you're going to be one of the best players in the nation flat out. I think my dad actually played with Dave Petromala. Yo, quick question. Yo, boss kid. Did you play with Dave Petromala back in the day or no? Um, when I was a freshman, I think he graduated. Yeah, he graduated in 89. Oh, so you just missed him. High school that year, so yeah, I just missed him. I'm at Dom at main stage. Really nice kid. Great lacrosse player. So I'm excited to see what he does in his final two years at BL. He's got the right hand too. I think like if you want to be good at the sport at a high level, you have to have both hands on lockdown. I think as you've seen with Joey and Dom, like they can put the ball on a rope with both their left and right, and that is huge in this sport. Lefty sniper. All right, that was it for Dom. Let's move on to number three. Joey Terenzi, midfielder out of Manhattan, New York, committed to Virginia. Number three ranked overall, number one midi in the 2022 class. I've honestly heard a couple things about him, but I've never met him in person. So let's dive into his highlight tape. Out front, room for the freshman Terenzi. He takes the shot. He has the winner. That's sick. That is so sick. Let's not forget he's a freshman. As a freshman, scored a double OT winner in their county championship to beat their rival, Garden City. Like, your first season in, you do something like this, like, your name's cemented. 
with the BTB. Shifty. Guys in the shorty, it's a green matchup all day for this kid. You will fall or get dusted. I love to kick it. With the uh. Is silly with both hands. Can put the ball on a rope with two hands. The BTB is on lock. Joey fits the UVA rules so well. Just the way he plays, it kind of reminds me of Connor Schellenberger, a Matt Moore. Just shifty quick, drop your hands, put it in the back of the net, and that's it. Joey, going to be an elite player in college. Do not forget the name. Going to be at UVA in two years. All right, let's move on to number four in the 2022 class. Third overall attackman, Truett Sunderland. Calvert Hall going to UVA. I still remember hearing about this kid for the first time. The Mitchell twins were telling me how there was this stud in eighth grade that was so sick coming into Calvert Hall next year. And I was like, oh, I wonder who it is. Look at him now. He's dominating high school lacrosse. That was sick. I mean, the behind their back was a base drop, and you got your boys on the sidelines just going out with me. And now it's suddenly coming around behind defender Paul Shot. I love Booker Corgan in the background, just broadcasting every game. What a legend. The Nova Pack, the DK? Come on, son. Let's just pick, take a pause real quick. How about Calvert Hall absolutely tearing up the kids in Royal Blue St. Mary's High School 2019 MIAA Championship. We got the Twins, we got Garrett Nielsen. I mean, Calvert Hall, I mean, you saw the final score. The, the, the passing ability on this cat is, is silly. Another one of those things people aren't gonna realize, but like the flick of the wrist with the no look, it, it, it's, it's really on point. Is that Stewie with the goal? Stewie, the legend. Hold on, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get G on call here. Hey. Yo, quick question for you. What number was Stu at Calvert Hall? Zero. Oh my god. Film in 2022 and I'm, I didn't know Stewie scored in the championship, that's sick. Yeah, you go. <laughs> I think one thing people aren't gonna realize either is like how fast this kid's shot is with really not how big his body. He is a 5'10", 150 frame, but I mean, the guy can put the ball on the rope and it's, it's stinging corners every time he shoots. All right, and lastly, we got Brock Berman, attackman, out of Niskayuna High School, committed to Notre Dame. Just like Joey, a great guy. Seen him play live at main stage and committed combine. The shiftiest player in the 2022 class. Without a doubt, there's no one else shiftier in this class. You're gonna be left in the dust or on the floor. I mean, let's dive into it. The red cleats with the two white ankle braces. Righty with the shot. Little fake, pretty question mark with the back hit. I mean, come on. Like with the comeback and he just like punches his hands and puts his left and stings the top right. Like I keep saying, cause it's true. Like if, if you want to be a top player in your class or in the country at the next level, you have to be dialed in with your left and right hand. Shifty. Pass. It's there, it's there. He's a complete player. Look at the, see it's like stuff like that. But, uh, Upfield, sling a right hand on the corner. Brock's got it, and, and I, I've said this to my friend, when he's fully done with college ball, he'll come out as one of the top attack you know, to play in this 2022 class when they're all said and done. Absolutely crushed it at the main stage event this past summer, winning offense MVP in the All-Star game. But that wraps up today's video, reacting to the top commits in the 2022 class. Stacked class, like I said, generational talent, and it's going to be exciting what they do in a couple years at the college level. Let me know if you guys liked it. Comment below. I'll be searching down there. That's all for today's video. I'm Mitchell Pelkey. Check the pasta. So I can out. Deuces.